Good morning from what will be a very short day here in Islamabad. <laughs> but it's our first morning in Pakistan. Woohoo! Woo yes! Yay. All right. Yay, we finally made it and now we're rested and we have a busy day today. Yes, now we've got a 10 hour drive ahead of us because we are going to Chalas, I believe is how it's pronounced. And that's going to take us on some of these famous uh, Pakistani roads, mountain passes. So we of course have connected with Hunza Explorer and this van here is our van today. Hello, good morning, sir. And here's our first look at the menu. <laughs> Let's see, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, English, no? Okay, you know, that's okay. Okay, we'll get you that. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Okay. So, all right. So, five paratha. Okay. And fried eggs for the boy. Okay. All right. Sounds all right. good. And this guy will make it here. Yes. All right. Excellent. Sounds good. Now, again, with Hunza Explorers. Yes. You're um, Kareem's brother. Yes. Yes. Okay. So a family, a family. Yeah. Younger brother. All right. But a family operation. It's very nice yes. to see. And uh, who is our? What is your good name, sir? My name is Wahidja. Wahidja. Wahid. 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 Nice to meet you, Wahid. Thank you for driving us today. So Wahid is going to be our driver. He's got the big van, and it should be very yeah. Should be a nice road trip. And we've got our rotis. This guy making our order. Oh, he's making them. So he is basically rolling the dough. He'll cook them here. I think the paratha, the paratha. Thank you. Yeah, always, always correct me. I don't want to sound uh, almost like a newbie here. This is the owner of the restaurant. Oh, sir. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice restaurant. I wish you had more time to stay, but the food looks very, very good. Okay, so he's frying up the egg now for Forrest. All right. Simple fried egg for Forrest. Just the way Forrest likes it, all over hard. So it should be uh, pretty good. And again, I don't know, I didn't, we uh, want to get this nine to 10 hour road trip started. So we didn't really have time to really dive too deep into the menu. But again, a simple breakfast, the fried eggs, and what will eventually be the laparatas should be very good. Okay, you take this one, I'll take this one. Okay. Yeah, this can be good. Okay. We ordered the teas, those should be coming in a minute, but uh Perfect. Should we dig in? I I think we're supposed to use our right hand if I'm not mistaken. Yes, is that I, is that I think so. Okay, all right. So right hand. Try not to do anything with your left. Alright, we'll give this our first parata. That's for you too? Yes. Okay. Alright. First bite of parata. This one yours? Can mm -hmm. I have this one for us? Hello? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Quite true. We almost need like a um masala yeah great. but you know that was uh we, without diving too deep into the menu or asking for any sort of specifics uh we'll eat this we'll have our tea and then we're gonna hit the road do you guys like it yeah it's one of my favorite breads really that pull apart bread yeah i think that's your favorite all right so we are up against our first sort of contemplation point it's the drinking water here in pakistan now um we could go off of plastic bottled sealed water, but again, that's gonna produce a lot of waste. I mean, every time it's gonna be five bottles of water, five plastics. Yeah. Uh, of course, on the table, they serve this chalice of water and uh, some goblets here. So we obviously just came from Nepal, if you've been following the journey, and because of that, we have our stereo pen. So I think what I'm gonna do is pour from the chalice of water into my Nalgene. I will treat the Nalgene uh, with our SteriPen and then we'll just drink the water and feel good about it, yeah? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I bet we could probably drink that. I'm sure it's, I mean, if it's on the table, it's gotta be uh, at least, maybe not from the tap, I wouldn't think, but, uh, but then again, why wouldn't it be from the tap? Because everyone here grows up drinking this water. So it's just, we're worried about getting like a little stomach problem on our first day of a 10 hour road trip. Yeah. So, all right. Treating the water with the stereo pen and uh, feel perfectly fine about that. Okay, our road trip has officially began, and it's just I am the first thing you notice about Islamabad is how green everything is. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, a lot of green. It's all space. laid out perfectly, organized. Organized into sections. Yes. That seems like. Yes. All each neighborhood has a little market and a residential area, so we, as we understand it. Uh, but yeah, so this begins the 10 hour road trip to? Chilas. Chilas, okay. And so from uh, Hunza Explorer, we have our, kind of our full itinerary. Mm -hmm. And what kind of things will we see today on this road trip? So we're gonna get to the, I'm probably gonna butcher the word, but Karokium uh, Highway. Karokium Highway? 
It's called Karok. Karok. We will uh, go through Nara. Actually, it's open now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. Yeah. So we got lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah you are lucky that yes. it's open. Okay. So we will go through the Nara. Okay. So oh. the next station is uh, Chilas. So you will stay tonight then. Eh? Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. So we'll get to go see the village. Yeah. We'll get to see so much stuff. I'm so excited. So the big road is open. So we should see some epic, beautiful things. Yeah. Welcome to Naran. Now we've been in the car for about what? Six, seven hours from Islamabad. So a long stretch. Everybody pretty much slept. But now it is uh, two o'clock and officially our lunchtime. And check this out. This is a water restaurant. So you are going to basically, if you come here, you'll take your shoes off and you're gonna sit with your feet in the water while you eat uh, whatever foods are on the menu. All right, so everyone is uh, getting shoes and socks off. Forrest, uh, what do you think, Forrest? You wanna sit in the water? No, he says, well, we'll give it a try. He's skeptical. Skeptical of the experience we're about to have. All right, shoes, socks. It should feel good. All of our shoes are so like kind of stinky from Nepal. That it'd be nice to soak our feet with these. Yeah. I can see they have all their sodas, drinks, all that right there in the water, staying cold. All right, we'll follow. We'll follow Tarek. Okay, so Cedar, grab your shoes. All right. Can you carry him? Do you think, Cal? Maybe on my back. Okay. Here, Forrest. Hey, go, Mama's back. Go, Mama. Hold on. All right. Everyone's uh, everyone's ready to go. All right. So we have a host here. It looks like they'll show us sort of the the ropes here on where we're supposed to go. Is it cold, Cedar? She says yes. It's funny that. So the river basically follows right down the mountain, right up this upper res restaurant, right over the street where all the cars are going. So this is sort of a communal water experience. What do you think, Cedar? The rocks hurt. It's so cold. Yeah, even though it's a tiny rocks hurt. You doing okay, Kelly? Yeah. All right. It's really cold, isn't it? It's cold. <laughs> This fine. Yeah, it's all in the shade. So we'll use this table. Yeah. All right. So again, we'll just sort of get ourselves. So guys, I think you sit on the mats. All right. Don't want to lose my water bottle. Okay, Cedar, you want to sit by mom? There's Forrest. He made it. <laughs> so Granny, you scoot down just a little bit. I sit over there. I see yours. I see some kids in the car. Cool. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you think of our lunch spot? Kind of unique, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a little something a little different. All right, so now that we're here settled, feet soaking in the river, we'll uh, check out the Mindy's and see what's for lunch. Okay, so they have uh, fish, they have fish, they have chicken, they have mutton, and then they also have vegetarian dish. Okay, now when we order, will he go cook? Will they cook the food, or is it already prepared? Can I go see them cook the food? Prepare the uh, yesterday. Yeah, banana dish, fish, fish, right. dish. They should prepare. Okay, so I can, I can film. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So. Special dish. All right, we'll we'll get this figured out, and then I'll go take a look at them preparing the food. With Tarek's help, we really got to communicate with these guys. So we ordered a chicken dish, a fish dish, and a vegetarian dish. And you can see uh, this guy right now is just butchering up the chickens. Uh, hello. Yes. Very nice. Looks good. So it's all made fresh to order here, which is uh, great. So we got the chicken dish coming. And I think if I'm not mistaken, those guys over here are actually catching the fish that we're about to eat. So they have sort of a freshwater, I guess you call it like a pool. Oh, he got one, okay. So we got the butchering of the chicken. We'll see what kind of spices he puts on that. They asked how spicy we wanted it. We said like a little spicy. So let's see what they're gonna do with the chicken. I see him chopping tomatoes here. Definitely got some kind of a spice pan going with the chicken. Salt, pepper, chili, maybe some kind of curry spices over there. It's great that they'll cook the food right in front of us. 
and they're gonna fry it right in the oil, I'm sure. This is the fish they just pulled out of the water. Looks like he's gonna fillet it for us. So they're just cleaning the fish right now. Again, it's great to see all the preparation uh, made right in front of us so we know it's fresh. They're certainly going to fry everything, so I don't think we're too worried about any sort of like uh, parasites from anything of, with the meat. But he's cutting the fillets right now. Or not the fillets, he's cutting them in slices. This guy's frying a chicken right here. So he just seasoned up our fish. Salt, pepper, some kind of chili powder right into the fryer. And that is going to be, I think, you think it's going to be good, Granite? Yeah. Yeah, it should be tasty fish. Yeah. All right, and this is the uh, the doll for Kelly, the veg dish. They also serve it with bread. He said they have simple bread, not paratha. So it'll be interesting to see what breads they serve with this. All right, so we're just heading back to the table, right back to the river. Again, you can see these cars driving through. Whew. How's it going? Good, this is great, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, Anna. oh, hello. Eddie. Nice to meet you. Eddie. Yeah, of course. I want to see the fish. Oh, they're cooking it. They're going to bring it to us. Daddy, let me see. You want to go see the fish? Do you card? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, this is sort of like better than TV, I think. I think so. I think so. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really glad we ended up here at this restaurant where, again, our feet are just in the water yeah. as we eat. A very popular spot. They have. Uh, restaurants up here. There's some vendors selling cotton candy over here. It's just an expansive restaurant. I can even see now people up here eating. So yeah, just a popular place. All right, I'm gonna take for us to see the fish. All right. Okay, so here is the food delivery. We are again. We're we're in water. All right. So napkins, bread. This is the fried fish we watched them make. That's a ton of fish. Way more than I thought it'd be. And this looks like the chicken, or yeah, certainly the chicken here. All right, so it looks like they're gonna bring bottled water here. Lovely. And this is the uh, the chennai, which is the veg dish. Chennai? All right, very good. Lovely, looks great, thank you. Awesome, so I can't wait to dive into all this food and uh, experience the flavors. All right, so I got everything sort of divided out. I've got this bread, I've got the fish, I've got the chicken. See how it goes. There is certainly a lot of bones in that fish. The way they just kind of cut off like that. Oh man. Oh, that's great. It's sort of almost like a, this might sound strange, but it's almost like a Kentucky Fried Chicken type flavor to it. Not spicy. Hmm. Flaky. Very good, you can see it just sort of pulls right off the right off the skin. Mm. So the fish, good. Granite, how's the spices for you? It's pretty mild and good. You like the you like it? Yeah. What uh what's your favorite one? The fish or the chicken? The fish. Yeah, how come? It just has more flavor to it. Yeah, it's probably because it's fried, yeah. Maybe it tastes a little bit uh, more flavors there. Yeah. Yeah, tasty, pretty tasty. And Cedar, what are you working on there? The chicken or the fish? Fish. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like because it has lots of taster. Lots of flavor. Nice. Forrest, you like the fish? Nice, good, good. Yeah. And Cal, how's the veg? So good. Eating the chickpeas with a um, good flavor, but not spicy at all. So it's oh. perfect. They asked us uh, what kind of spice level I wanted. I said just a teeny bit. So. I bet they made it more mild for us. All right, so we're about halfway through the meal, and Forrest's favorite food is the fish. Cedar, are you still sticking with the fish, or do you prefer the chicken? I think both. You like both? Yeah. You like the spiciness level? Yeah. You got some water? Greta, what's your favorite kind of combination here? The bread and the sauce. Oh, nice. So oily. So much flavor, tasty, mm -hmm. nice. So one of the spices that's really standing out to me as we work our way kind of through these like chicken dishes and fish is paprika. There's definitely a lot of paprika on here. 
I can taste some cayenne, but I think cumin and paprika are really the stars here. Yeah, that fresh tomato that the guy was cutting up, mm, so good. They really nailed the spice level, at least for our palate, but just greasy and delicious. Of course, it's on this second round of fish already. Yeah. So. That's his favorite. In the in your 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 veg dish, it's almost gone. Right. It's so good. It is so good. Can I get another? There's ginger in here. So the spices on here, the tomato and the oil. Woo. It's a chicken truck. Chicken truck. Um, but there's also like shaved ginger cooked in here, and it's like slow cooked, so it's really um. Just all the flavors are mushed together, which is great. Nice, really cool. This is a great stop on our really long road trip because we can get out of the car, we can get refreshed, we can put our feet in the water, we can eat good food. Yeah, I mean, just the fact that we're all sitting here with all of our feet in the water, <laughs> pretty good times. All right, well, we're gonna wrap this meal up. There is a few other little vendor stops we might check out, we'll see. All right, so Wahid and I are sitting up front here, really enjoying the view. We're getting closer and closer to the pass. How are you guys doing in the back? We're doing good. Forrest, how are you doing? Tell Daddy. Forrest doing good? Yes. You see him? Oh, I'm going to Forrest's house. You want to go to Forrest's house? Yes, I need oatmeal. You miss Chi Chi? Yeah, I need oatmeal. You need oatmeal? <laughs> Dan is back there sleeping. Cedar's sleeping. Cedar's sleeping. All right. Well, they're going to miss the most beautiful part, I think. So. Too bad for them, but it's just gorgeous out here. You can see there's so many people keeping bees. We must have passed 100 people keeping hundreds of bee boxes themselves. So it's just an incredible amount of bees. Really a beautiful drive. It's a long drive, but really filled with beauty. These roads though, in some spots are completely atrocious. Just big rocks everywhere. There are big chunks of pavement missing and then kind of randomly you pass animals. Oh, so here's like a rock in the road right here. Cows. And some cows. Up on the hillside, there is just all types of sheep up there. It really though, it's just, it just couldn't be any more beautiful. There's blue skies, the white clouds, and here's an example of the snow. There's still snow to be seen out here. See, oftentimes this road will close uh, mid-October and stay closed till mid-May, sometimes even June, depending on the snow conditions. But we've passed numerous spots of large snow piles. Lots of rocks speckling the landscape. But as it gets even more beautiful, I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera back on. You can just see so many mountain peaks over there, speckled with snow as we go higher and higher and higher up into the pass. Just gorgeous. Total drop off though from that ledge. We have made it to the top of Babusar and it is somewhat of a bazaar here. You can see restaurants, you can see fruit vendors, you can see just all types of little things for sale all basically down this long strip. And now we're officially sort of at the top of the pass. We'll be winding now at this point through the mountains. We'll see a bunch of snow. Should be very, very beautiful. And we are switching vans. So this van is no longer gonna take us into the pass. We're switching to something more of a uh, SUV style. Uh, very nice SUV. And tell me your name again, sir. Riaz. Riaz, nice to meet you. So nice Riaz, to meet you, sir. you're going to be our guide yes, for the rest please, of the trip. Yes, so Riaz is gonna, you'll see a lot of Riaz in our videos and he'll be giving us a lot of information oh, on the pass. Oh, honey, no thank you. We yeah, had earlier. Yeah, run. yeah, yeah, no thank you. Very nice <laughs> though. So all right, Riaz, so we'll load up here. And uh, how long is the drive for the rest of the day? Oh, so it's a uh, 48 kilometers. 48, oh, not bad, not bad, 48 kilometers. And will we be going down? Down, yes. Sir. Okay, all right. So this Maybe is the top. Maybe it takes uh, one hour. From About an hour, here. okay. Oh, very nice. So that'll be a nice drive to uh, enjoy the scenery. Yes. So again, we just get transferred here, all of our bags out of the back into uh, 
this sort of bigger uh, SUV. Now we might need a seat down uh, in the back. I wonder if we Can should. Can we do that? Maybe. Be kind of a tight squeeze, but it's only it's about an hour. But you know, we are going to be in this car for a while, so two hours. two hours. Oh, okay, all right. We'll see if we can't figure out the seating. So, as we switch cars, we're going to go to the bathroom. Uh, this is sort of a looks like kind of the main little visitor center area. There's some cute kids dancing, very beautiful. With the music, dancing, kids. Certainly locals. Kelly, yeah, drive, huh? That was awesome. Very pretty. Very beautiful. Just mountains everywhere. Yeah. You can see even up here. Epic. Whew. You said almost 14,000 feet. Yeah, I can tell the air is thinner. Yeah. Kind of like harder to breathe, got a little bit of a headache or so. All right. All right. So. Washroom. Store. Toilets. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the help. Yeah. Just a little assistance in the bathroom, these guys. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Are we ready to hit the road? Yeah. You got your bar? Oh, oh you got some pictures, mom. Did you get the Pakistan flag? Yeah, it's so slow motion. Cool. Good one. You can see those on our Instagram page. All right, well, let's head down. You want, yeah, you want help? You want to carry? All right, big boy. All right, so back to the car, the new car, and then we head down the pass. About an hour, I keep an hour, maybe two hours till we get to the hotel, so it should be good. So we finally made it to Chalice and we are staying at a hotel called Shangri-La. Are you taking these inside or no? That's okay there? I think so. Okay, okay. So Kelly and the kids are already on the inside. We'll just sort of see about the check-in process. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What's our man for, Yeah. All right, so again, the layout's nice. I think we're gonna be in one room similar to uh, last night, like kind of a one family room with a couple of beds. Just a nice, uh, nice hotel. Oh, right on the water. Cool. Hi, this way, guys. Down there, the Indus River, sir. Okay. The Indus River. All right. A nice property tour. Down there, Indus River. Yeah, I can see the river. So you got the mountains, the river all right down there, a bunch of people. Oh. What do you guys think of this hot weather? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that oven dry heat. Yeah. Okay, through the doorway here. Okay, it looks like we're coming up on the room. So we are in Chalice for just this one night. Again, it's already 8.30. We haven't had dinner yet. We were not in bed till after midnight last night, so everyone's really exhausted. We're gonna eat dinner here at the hotel. I'll show you that in a minute, but let's do a quick room tour, room 112. And the one thing is it's only two twin beds. So we talked to the hotel uh, guy and they brought this mattress and the bed sheets, we're gonna lay it here. They brought a second mattress and they set that one up. They didn't set up this mattress because uh, you know we need this this walkway here. So all in all, a cute room. Um, you know, we're here for one night. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, but again, there's no air conditioning. So we have this fan here. We got this like turbo fan over there. I turned them off because they're really loud. So we are anticipating basically kind of a hot sort of sweaty night, but at least we'll all have our own little bed space. But I'll be here, Kelly and Forrest, maybe there, Cedar, Granite, something like that. Um, Built-in shelves. I mean, look, it's, it's a nice, it's, it's all concrete. It's nice. There's a bunch of plugs, um, more sitting area here. If we were here for more than just one night, I think we would certainly want multiple rooms. But for the one night, meh, whatever, fine. Bathroom, standard toilet. Uh, not a rain shower, just a spray shower head there. Big sink. And that's pretty much it on the room. I mean, it's 
it's a cute room. I think I'm just a little bit tired to be like super thrilled. <laughs> like, oh, look at this, look at that. I'm just, uh, yeah, we're all tired. Kelly and the kids have already headed to dinner. I'm gonna join them uh, in a second, so we'll show you dinner. But it's gonna be basically dinner, set the mattress up, bedtime, and that is it. So let me uh, head over there and I'll show you dinner. Dinner has been served and it is a variety of dishes. Uh, certainly I recognize chicken biryani. Grin, have you tried any of it yet? I tried the cucumber. How's, how are the, yeah, I got a little cucumber salad. How, how was the cucumber? Tasty? Chicken biryani. They said how spicy do we want it? We said pretty mild and uh, well. Mm. It is. You got a good spice? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Uh, we have some mixed vegetables here. We've got another chicken kind of in gravy dish here. Cedar, which which one are you going for there? Um, it's uh, tina rice. Nice, and you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Nice. Hey, Kelly, you got what did you get for veg? Um, oh, the uh, the doll. Okay, the doll. Yeah. Nice. And I haven't tried it yet, but I did try the vegetables. And how, really are the, how are the veg? Really good. Looks like there's a good seasoning on it. Here's the doll. Yeah, it, that has a great seasoning on it. Let's see it. Nice, thick, stewy, cool. but spicy. Hits the spot? Yes. All right, I'm gonna dive right into the, uh, whatever kind of gravy, chicken gravy this is. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. That's really tasty. Um, have you tried that chicken? Yeah, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's basically a nice thick gravy sauce and uh, yeah, good flavor. Buttery, yeah? That's good. Yeah, that one's good too. That's spicy. All right, so we will uh, continue. We'll enjoy dinner and then I think we're going to head back to the room for a not so early bedtime. It's almost, uh, almost 9 o'clock now. Riaz and I are now uh, totally full. The dinner was great, but tomorrow we have a pretty big hike to do. Yes, please. Up Can to you... the Ferry Meadows. Okay, so Ferry Meadows. And how long is the hike? So we have to hike from Tato to Ferry Meadow, two and a half or three hours with the kids. Okay, so that's that's just long enough where I think, yeah, you, you suggested we get some snacks for the children. For children, yes. Okay, good the idea. Way, there is no any tuck shop or a small restaurant, just we need directed to the Ferry Meadow. Okay. That's why we need for the babies, kids, some fruits, okay. some biscuits. Okay. For them. And what fruits do you recommend? So you, you we so, brought me here. We're at, we're at a really nice looking uh, fruit market veg as yes, well. Yes, they have many, but uh, I want to prefer the bananas is the okay, best for them. Okay, I think so. I see a few bananas up there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go with your recommendation. Yes, sir. What you think. Yes, please. Yeah. I will tell him he will give us the bananas. Okay. Great, great, great. And these are the smaller bananas. So we end up with a couple dozen. It's not like they're like the huge bananas. Oh, pardon me. Oh, here we go. Here's the box. Okay, so he brought the box out. Okay, so this is almost like wholesale. Yeah. So having Riaz here helping with the translation goes a long way. It makes the process a lot easier. kind of pick through the good ones. And that might be okay. I mean, if it's just for tomorrow, I don't think our kids will eat more than that. <laughs> I think so, for just bus, tomorrow? Bus, bus, bus. Yeah, yeah, that's good. How are you? Good? Hi. Okay, sir. Okay, so got the bananas, and you had mentioned biscuits. Is that a, that's a different shop? Oh, there are many shops, but oh, this is the best one. This is the best, okay. Everything we can buy. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh, great, great. Yes, we needed time the bananas. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Our kids are big banana eaters, so that'll go a long way. Okay, so those bananas are about 150? 150. 150. Okay, so bananas are done. We'll kind of see what's next on this uh, shopping list. We talked about getting some water bottles, a few things like that. But uh, yeah, great fruit stop for sure. Okay, sir. Okay. So really just across the street and to this looks like a fruit shop, a dried fruit shop. Okay, ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, 
So now we're getting into a little bit of a bakery uh, section. All right, so they have dried figs, they've got cashews, all these little treats here. Okay. So for biscuits, did you have one, anything in particular in mind? Our kids usually eat anything. Yeah. It's so. with Lilling and I have put mix biscuit there. Egg kilo. Kilo kis tarah? Char so? Uh, mix kar har koi do do teen teen. All right, so when I pulled for the conversation, a mixed box, yes. about a kilo, and yeah. you said like the hard ones? Yeah, they, they, they the okay, hard great, ones. great. So again, I just leave it to the guys. Back mixed box. Ha, Great, that'll be perfect. Again, I don't know if I would have been able to necessarily uh, translate that as, as well. So it's a, it's a big bonus here. And uh, yeah, and the gentleman just picks a mixed box. It's perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. Great mix. Yeah, excellent. So about a kilo worth of biscuits. Are those raisins? Those that little orange bag right here. Are those raisins? Like grapes dried? No, 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 this one. Uh, what? Yes. Is that Casey? Yes. Let's grab the force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call these? Kishmish. Kishmish. Yeah. Okay, we call raisins. Yeah, dry grapes. Right, dry grapes. Yeah, forest likes these. We'll get it back. So it looks like water for the hikes. Got the raisins, the kishmish, and then our variety cookie pack. So again, much faster process. Having Rios here to help communicate all everything that we need what do you think looks good yes sir it's good thick isme isme zyada dala dekho ye bhi dal na ye wale bhi dal ye dekho idhar bhi hai in mein bhi hai niche ye bhi hai dekho peanut ke sath ha sath mein do do dalna char char nahi dalna you can taste sir no yeah, okay great so just a kind of a center, I bet this is a pretty buttery biscuit. Mm. Yeah, that's good. good. It's Kids will like that. Like yeah, yeah. Bit sweet. Yeah, nice. Good. Mm. No real flavor beyond uh, yeah. butter, flour, sugar. So the red must just be like a food coloring. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So you were saying this is one of the best baker shops. Yeah, it's, I mean, again, it's so big, very popular, I bet. Hello, thank you so much. Thank you. What would be the best way to say something like thank you? Shukriya. Shukriya. Shukriya, sir. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Samosas. I had another sample from our box. It's this little cookie here described as a bit salty. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. That one definitely has cardamom in it. Totally different flavor than the other cookie. Not sweet at all. Yeah, cardamom. Very good. That one uh, might not be the kid's favorite, but uh, I like it. It's very dry. It immediately crumples in the mouth. Cardamom is the, the key, uh, the, 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 the star of that particular cookie. Hello. What was the total bill on the cookies in the... Oh, uh, 740. 740. Rupees. Okay, again, not a bad deal. So very good, we were all snacked up for tomorrow's hike. Just wanted to show you one last thing was basically the final sleeping arrangements. Granite, you doing okay? Yeah. Cool. Forrest, mom, Thumbs good up. times. Woo. See you there. Did you guys, uh, what'd you think of the drive today? Good. It was beautiful. really long. It was so long, but so beautiful. Long, but beautiful. Getting up to the pass was totally worth it. Now, alternatively, <clears throat> we could have taken a flight to Gilgit directly, uh, would have, which would have saved certainly a ton of time, but it's just really up to you. For us, I thought the drive was beautiful. It wasn't too bad. The car, we were in a big van. It was pretty comfortable, so. Eating yeah. lunch at the river was fun. Lunch at the river was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Putting my feet in was the best part. Yeah, getting our feet in getting the water while we ate. Getting out of the car, getting our feet in the water, and then eating lunch in the water, I guess. Yeah. And getting caught in and cotton candy. All right, everyone, that is a video. We will see you tomorrow with more adventures from Pakistan.